With the recent shootings in Dallas, uh, and then and then, and then with Baton Rouge, it's like you, ha you can't not give all officers who want to carry a rifle a rifle under the circumstances right now because the threats are real. Uh, you know, one one event may not doesn't make a a pattern. It doesn't. You know, it may not happen again, or not, not very often, but when you have two in a row and you have some issues going on in the environment right now, I have made the decision that any officer in the field that wants to carry a rifle, we will make sure they carry those rifles. We will make sure they have a rifle. Now, in the interim, until we can get rifles, uh, I am going to allow officers to use their own, if it's approved, if it's an approved rifle, and they qualify, and that we provide the ammunition. But that's only until we get the rifles, then that personally owned rifle will be replaced with a city owned rifle because all of the rifles, uh, I want all the rifles to be city owned rifles. Our officers are ecstatic. Their families are ecstatic. This was a big issue with their families as well. I mean, it's, it's a very troubling time in law enforcement that for the first time it's affecting our, our, our homes, our kids, our wives, our, our husbands. Uh, they're scared for their, their, the family member that's in law enforcement. So I think everybody's gonna be happy with this news.